Hi everyone and welcome to another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today we are making crackers. Cheesy rosemary chickpea crackers, to be exact. It's a little bit of a tongue twister, but I got it out. This is not the first take. <laughs> Um, and yes, we are using my magical favorite flour, chickpea flour. Um, I made chickpea omelets out of them. I have a pancake recipe coming up, which I haven't shot yet, but I've kind of been testing. Um, it's just an awesome, awesome flour because it's cheap for one. You can find it in bulk fairly easily for two bring your own bags, bring your own containers, and then it's package free. And it's also high in protein and high in fiber. So it's a win, 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 win all around. <laughs> so this recipe today comes from, and I have to look at this title so I get it right, moonandspoonandyum.com. <laughs> so the original recipe is just a plain cracker. Um, I've added the cheesy rosemary part to it. so. If you like your crackers plain, check out the original recipe or just remove the nutritional yeast and the rosemary from this recipe. I haven't made this recipe before, but because I've used chickpea flour so much and I'm experimenting with it a lot right now, I feel very confident that this recipe is going to turn out just as it looks on the original recipe. Um, and it looks like a type of cracker that's kind of soft on the inside and a little crispy on the outside. So we'll see if that, that's what happens. <laughs> so for ingredients today, you need one cup of chickpea flour. Chickpea flour can have a few names. So if you're in the grocery stores and you're looking for it and you're not seeing it, maybe look for garbanzo bean flour or chana flour, which is what I'm using today, or basan flour, that's the other one one teaspoon of gluten-free baking powder, half a teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of dried rosemary, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, three to four tablespoons of water. So the original recipe only calls for three tablespoons of water, but because I've added in the nutritional yeast and the rosemary into this recipe, I'm thinking we might need a tablespoon more of water. So I'm going to start with three tablespoons and then we may need that extra one. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of sea salt for sprinkling on top, and a bit of extra chickpea flour for when you're rolling out the dough. You also need a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a silicone mat. I still haven't gotten myself a silicone mat. Um, I talked about it on my bagel recipe and uh, one of my followers, Chanel Caldwell, she had posted that um, Costco sells a four pack of them. So I went to my local Costco and they've discontinued them. So I'm still on my hunt for a silicone mat. Um, so if anybody else has some good places for me to check out, let me know. <laughs> you also need a bowling pin. Wait, no, <laughs> you need a rolling pin. I, I guess a bowling pin could work too, but um, you're probably more likely to have a rolling pin than a bowling pin <laughs> at home. Um, I've also heard that wine bottles work for rolling as well. So, you know, choose your own adventure, I guess. <laughs> and you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, <laughs> let's get started.
give these a try. They look good. They look like they will be soft on the inside and a little crispy on the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna try a little bit of a thinner one, so it might be a little bit more crispy. Let's see here. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, I really like the addition of the rosemary and the nutritional yeast. I mean, I didn't try them before when they were just plain, but these are the flavors that I really like, <laughs> so that works for me. Let's try, this is a bit of a thicker one. Um, so this might be a little bit softer. Oh yeah, it is a bit softer. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are nice. Yay! I'm so stoked that these crackers worked. And it's such a great way to make your own with very few ingredients and have package-free crackers. Oh, and I just picked up um, the Blue Heron, uh, the vegan cheese company in Vancouver. They just had an August long weekend, um, what do they call them? Just like a little basket, basically, of different cheeses. So I picked that up on the weekend and I still have some left over. So I'm gonna be eating some crackers and cheese. <laughs> Thank you again for watching another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Please hit the subscribe button below and give it a th thumbs up if you liked the video. And please share my channel with people that may be looking to transition into a vegan or gluten-free lifestyle or both, or they you know, are struggling where they're currently at because um, I have been told that my channel has been helping people and it's so nice to hear. Sometimes you just feel like, I just feel like I'm doing these videos and putting them out there and you don't really know if they're making a difference at all. So yeah, if you know of anyone who could benefit from my channel, please let them know about it. Thank you again and cheers to living free.